Just back away. But what I can say. I would appreciate it if you backed away from me. You're in public. You're standing inches from me. Back away. But what he can't do is try and intimidate members of the public. We and you, as a supervisor, we allowed it to deal. happen. We will, I will talk to you if you turn that off. I don't want my likeness used either. You cannot video inside. This, this is still. a public lobby. As long as you uh, do not hinder any kind of government operations or you know, go in any kind of restricted uh, access areas. But he didn't do anything illegal, did he? If it's not illegal, I can walk up to you and, and, you and get in your face, right? You are the out. sheriff of this county. You took an oath to uphold the Constitution. Fellow Patriots, meet Tyrant Deputy Rupp from the Limestone County Sheriff's Department in Alabama. Deputy Rupp and his boss, Sheriff Joshua McLaughlin, tried to censor this video because they didn't want the world to see their disgraceful behavior. Like, comment, and share this video to prove to them that we the people will not be silenced. Let's get into it. Who are you? And your name? I'm sorry? I can't hear you. What are you doing? I'm just taking some pictures and video of the facility. Why? For my own personal use. What are you doing? A guy out here trying to film the jail. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? Well, I was going to go to lunch. You were going to go to lunch? Don't let me stop you. You're not stopping me. You're not detained, or you're free to go to get your lunch. There's. Okay. Have a enjoy your lunch. Still following me around, the correctional officer. See, the correctional officer's jobs are to monitor the inmates, not free men and women walking around in public. We have some more correctional officers here. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well, sir. Beautiful day. Do you... We got somebody out here walking around. You doing good, though? Yeah, do you mind if I get your name? Randolph. Randolph, and your name, sir? Posey. Posey, and your name, sir? Smith. Thank you, Smith. My name's Sean. Okay. I'm just taking some pictures and video of the facility here. Nothing nefarious going on. I spoke to this uh, correctional officer here on his way to lunch. Told him not, you know, mean to interrupt your lunch, but he <laughs> just taking some pictures and videos here. Nothing nefarious going on. Sounds good to me. You need a water or anything? Don't get too hot out here, though. <laughs> no, thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate the offer. I really do. Thank you. It is getting a little hot out here, but beautiful day. Yes, sir, it is. It's a beautiful day outside. Beautiful day. So, I'm sorry, sir. I can't hear you. Your truck you is very loud. You don't have the, my permission to use my likeness in your film. I don't have your permission to use your likeness. Yeah, you're not using my image on your film. Well, we're in public. You have security right, cameras what's here. Your name? Well, my name is Sean. Sean what? Just Sean. Sean, you gotta have a last name. Just Sean, sir. Well, my attorney's gonna need it. Your attorney's gonna need it? I'm sure he'll find me. It's just Sean, though. Sean what? Just Sean. Just Sean. Why would your attorney need it? Is your likeness... You're in public, aren't you? Not on your camera, I'm not. You are in public. This is a public place. We're in public. You have security cameras here filming me. What I'm saying is I don't know what you're doing. I would appreciate it if you backed away from me. I would appreciate that. Just back away. But what I can say... I would appreciate it if you backed away from me. You're in public. You're standing inches from me. Back away. You're in public. Back away, officer. De-escalate. Get back in your truck and go have your lunch. Go enjoy your lunch. This is not what you want to do. What's the name of the YouTube page? You want to go to lunch. That's what you want to do. You don't want to do this. There's no reason for it. 
You thought you were going to intimidate me coming up on like that, coming up on me like that. Didn't work, did it? Didn't back up an inch. Now please back up and de-escalate. Or go get your supervisor. Can you call a supervisor because this guy is trying to intimidate me? You intimidate those guys in there, you ain't going to intimidate me. You intimidate them because they're in handcuffs and they're in cells. I'm not either one of those right now. So you're not intimidating me. Now back up, go to lunch, stop harassing me, stop trying to intimidate me. Tyrant. I'd like to speak to a supervisor, sir. I'm the supervisor here right now. You're a supervisor here right now? You're sergeant? But I will talk to you if you turn that off. I don't want my likeness used either. Right, I understand that you guys have a problem with likenesses being used. I get all that, Sarge. Uh, but you just saw one of your If you officers. get it, then turn the thing off. All he asked you was your name so he can make sure that your and I said my name is Sean. doesn't get used on any. He can do whatever he likes. That's fine. He can, okay. do, he can do that. All right. But what he can't do is try and intimidate members of the public. We and you have, as a supervisor allowed it to happen. We will have a deputy here shortly. You can talk to him. You allowed that as a supervisor to happen for him to come up in my space and intimidate me. So you just allow your officers to intimidate members of the public? Sergeant, is that how you run this operation you have here? Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. video inside this, this is a public lobby do not video I'm here in I'm this here building. I'm here to get a complaint form since you don't want to take okay, a complaint. complaint form is right down here at dispatch this is not a public lobby if you need a complaint form go to dispatch okay That's but this is a public lobby there. correct I don't consent to using my likeness on your security camera footage just so you know so this is just the visitor center, guys. We're not going to be intimidated by these tyrants. So we have a deputy here just arriving on scene, Limestone County, Sheriff's deputy. We're going to begin that complaint form to file against that rogue tyrant officer who thinks he could just try and intimidate members of the public. There are public servants. Hey, sir, how are you? How are you? Good, good. I'm a Sergeant Moore, the Sheriff's Office here. Hey, Sergeant. Concerned. Something, right. Something wrong or? S Sergeant Moore, no, it, it was just, I'm an, my name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I'm okay. just taking some B-roll footage of the facility here. I'm working on a story, okay. um, the county facility here. And uh, while I was doing that, some correctional officers approached me. One in particular, he got in my face, tried to intimidate me. And, you know, I just wanted to file a complaint against that correctional officer. Okay, you'll have to say that with their supervisor. I'm a patrol sergeant. Right. That's going to be a... Right, the supervisor just ignored me. He saw it happen. Like I said, he got, like, right in my face, like inches from my face. Okay. Um, which uh, supervisor did you speak to with corrections? Um, I believe it was uh, Sergeant Smith. Sergeant Smith? I, Smith was one of their names. There was about five of them out here. So, I just spoke. Um, he went back inside. But you are a law enforcement officer? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, as far as the recording goes, it's not an issue. You have a, you know, you have a first amendment right to, to you know, freedom of the press, all, get, all that kind of stuff, as long as you are not recording anything going on within the facility or causing a disruption to the... Um, right, no restricted areas or anything like that. Facility. Right, no restricted areas, and so, I'm, not, I'm not interfering with anything. I'm just <laughs> quietly gathering my content for my story. Like I said, it's just... The, the intimidation tactics used here, I don't really appreciate them, and I'm not, as you just said, I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not doing anything illegal, so I don't see why that, that would happen. Uh, what kind of uh, story are you working on? Uh, are you? Government corruption. I investigate government corruption. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. You said your name's Sean? Yeah, Sean. Your yeah. last name's Sean? It's just Sean. Just Sean? Yeah, just Sean. Just Sean. All right, then, Sean. Well, as long as you... uh. Do not hinder any kind of government operations or you know, go in any kind of restricted uh, access areas or film anything within the facility. Have a great day.
definitely was not trying to hear any of his directives. Hello Patriots, my friend Dale from the Lackluster channel and I have been reporting on police misconduct for years now and we are fed up with seeing We the People's rights being violated. So we've decided to take action to protect all of our constitutional rights by launching Attorney Shield. Attorney Shield is a next-gen mobile app technology that provides 24-7 access to legal support during critical interactions with the police. With a tap of a button, you will be connected to an attorney in 30 seconds or less. The video call will immediately start recording and uploading the footage to our secure cloud servers, while at the same time notifying your emergency contact that you're having a police interaction and providing them with your geolocation. One of my favorite features is that the call cannot be ended without entering in a personal security pin, preventing the officer from unlawfully stopping your recording. All of these features and much more for less than $8 a month. Sign up for Attorney Shield today using the link in the description or pinned comment of this video to receive an exclusive 10% discount off your membership. Only together can we fundamentally change policing in America. Yes, sir. Hi, ma'am. I was looking to get a complaint form. Okay, give me just a second. No problem. Take your time. We don't have complaint forms. You can talk to somebody and file a complaint. Right, so there's no form that exists to file a complaint against a correctional officer? Not at my office, no. Not at your office. No. Where is the main sheriff's department? So this is the main sheriff's department. The front office is just around the I just, front. I, I find it really just mind-boggling that there's not a form. So the complaint starts if you have an issue with a deputy or a corrections officer, you talk to their supervisor, you go over them, and then if, if there's anything to the complaint, the supervisor will then do a counseling, a written counseling with the person you have the complaint on if there is any kind of violation of policy. Right. So it's so, not a form that I know of for you to fill out. However, when you speak to the supervisor, if there was a violation of policy or some kind of unethical conduct, the supervisor can, can then do a written counseling or a written disciplinary with the person, and it goes in their personnel file. So according to you, there is no formal complaint forms for the sheriff's department for the limestone county sheriff's department to my knowledge that is correct okay and your name was again sergeant moore sergeant moore thanks sergeant moore uh, i think that's ridiculous but all right absolutely ridiculous no complaint forms hey how are you good how are you doing sir? are you with the limestone county uh, sheriff's yes, office yes, sir. just a quick question for you okay. i was told that there's there's they doesn't exist uh complaint forms to file a complaint against a deputy or a correctional officer in this case. Do not, you know that that a... Not a form. Like I a don't. form, like a complaint form. Like somebody says, comes into the sheriff's department and says, hey, I want to file a complaint against uh, deputy so-and-so. Sure. You just speak to a supervisor. There's no form you fill out. Yeah, so not that I know. There's not... Because I'm just I'm just patrol deputy. Okay. Um, if you do want to make a complaint, um, you can just Street call up supervisor. here Monday through Friday and, and report it to our captain. Okay. Uh, just mind boggling to me. I, I, that, I've been to police departments all across the country and everybody yes, has a complaint form. So, it, as, and it, there could be one. Right. But not to my no, knowledge. but your sergeant, your, your sergeant told me there wasn't one. So, okay. I, I'm going to take his word for yes, it. Sir. But uh, thanks. I appreciate yes, answering sir. my question. You Thank you. You too. Thank you. Absolutely ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Thank you for requesting to talk with me. Yes. The sheriff. Yes, sir. I would, I would love to speak to you. So, you um, got Yeah. So, I just. I was out here just taking some pictures and video. Um, I was very cordial to everybody who came into contact with me. And um, an officer Rupp said, what are you doing? I told him what I was doing. I was taking some pictures and video. I told him my name is Sean. Um, I don't provide any other identifying information other than that. But officer Rupp became very aggressive, got out of his vehicle. He was supposed to go to lunch. He says, hey, I'm going to lunch. I said, all right, so go to lunch. Have a nice lunch, officer. He gets right into my face, literally an inch from my face, inches from my face, and just stands there and stares at me and tries to intimidate me, all because I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. I'm not, I'm not here to harass anybody. I'm not here to try and do anything criminal in nature. I'm here to exercise my rights. Can you show me the video of what happened? Sure, I can show you the video, no problem. I, I can show, show it to you. Real quick and I'll discuss it. Okay, I'll show it to you, hold on. That's basically everything that transpired, Sheriff. Um, Here's the deal, man. You're welcome to film and do everything, all right? I know what you're here for. You may get some reaction out of people. I'm gonna go talk to them and let them know that you can be here and you can do this. It's just part of it. But uh, as long as you don't start harassing one or sticking it up in anybody's face, I don't care, man. You're welcome to be here. So. Right, but so would, but what do you- talk with him. Right, right, right. So I'm not looking for anybody to harass me. I'm not no, looking for anybody to intimidate me. 
But are you trying? To, you're trying to provoke a reaction out of people. So well, you just watched. YouTube. You just watched the video. But he didn't do anything illegal, did he? He. It's very concerning that you are the sheriff of this county, you and you don't. You, want, you could say you could say he didn't do anything illegal. He didn't. He didn't do anything illegal. Well, I would consider it harassment, so I would consider it illegal. I Here's would consider it illegal. You if I did that here. to you, if I walked okay, up to you, to so if it's not illegal, I can walk up to you and and, you and get in your face, you right? Yeah. It, you don't bother me, but you're not going to do to other people. Okay, but, but I didn't like do I'm it. Saying, to, he came to up me. to me. You saw the video, I Sheriff. Will go and I will talk to him but you saw the video. I was nowhere near him. Listen to me, okay? Like I said, you're free to be out here, film, record, take pictures, whatever you want to do. Right. If you get a provoked reaction out of what you're trying to look for, you can't go complaining. But he didn't do anything legal. I will address it with him. But other than that, but what like about said, what about recording is what about recording people. is provoking anybody, Sheriff? Huh? Just just recording in and of so itself is, is not goal provoking. Right here today? My goal my goal is to peacefully exercise my rights and to see how our public servants, including yourself, to Sheriff, see if you can provoke no, 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 to see how they so, react to us like said, engaging in a constitutionally here, protected right? activity. It's and scary to me. To you took an oath. You are the sheriff of this county. You took an oath to uphold the Constitution. I I told you what You're I not going to have a civil conversation because you, one of your. Civil. You're just it is. I'm not I'm being not argumentative. You're saying day, you're saying that I'm here provoking day. people, but you're not taking accountability for your officers who tried to provoke me and intimidate me. Shameless behavior, sheriff. And what I'm doing here is exactly this: exposing you to the world. Wow absolutely insane ladies and gentlemen so we were just walking around the facility here and the sheriff of limestone county approached us we showed him the video footage of the deputy the correctional officer excuse me rup getting right inches from my face intimidating me spitting on the ground next to me absolutely abhorrent behavior trying to intimidate a free man in this country and use his authority to intimidate me from exercising my constitutional rights. And this is the mentality. The sheriff came all the way down here to the correctional facility to talk to me. And I was like, wow, that's very nice of the sheriff. You know, he's going to come here and de-escalate situation. He has this, I understand why his officers, his deputies have that kind of uh, attitude because it comes straight from him. Coming here and recording on public sidewalks and public property is not against the law, as the sheriff noted. It's a constitutionally protected activity, promoting transparency and accountability in our government, constitutionally protected. Every law enforcement officer takes an oath to uphold the United States Constitution, and they should take that oath seriously. There is nothing about baiting someone or trying to get, they want to bring up baiting and looking for a reaction and provoking a reaction. You guys have all seen my videos. What reaction do I provoke? I peacefully exercise my constitutional rights. The people that are provoked, they provoke themselves. That's already in them. Do you think that correctional officer Rupp who got in my face doesn't act that way with everybody he comes in contact with? Of course he does. He's a tyrant. He's a bully. He has ego, a serious ego problem. And it all stems from the sheriff or police chiefs. It all comes from them. This sheriff here just made a horrible, horrible statement. He represents this department horribly. It really does. Trying, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to provoke an interaction. He watched the video, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't, he, he doesn't even have the benefit of the doubt of not seeing the video yet. I literally showed him the video. The entire interaction with me and Correctional Officer Rupp. And he still, still says that I'm trying to provoke an action. He got out of his vehicle and approached me. He got inches from my face staring me down, trying to intimidate me. And the sheriff, oh, well, that's not illegal. I, I would beg to differ, sheriff. I would, I would say that that is harassment. That is classic harassment. And it might not be a serious charge, but it's still something a law enforcement officer, a public servant should not be engaging in. He has no regard for his supervisors. He has no regard for the sheriff. The sheriff says he's going to go inside and have a talk with them and let them know that I'm allowed to do what I'm doing. I doubt that. I think the sheriff, based on his attitude and how he spoke with me, he's going to go in there and say, listen, he tried to provoke a reaction and he, he provoked a reaction out of you. And, you know, don't do that next time. You're going to make the department look bad. 
make all these excuses because there's no accountability in law enforcement, ladies and gentlemen, zero accountability. And we, the people need to change that. What a disgrace this sheriff's department is covering. He watched the entire video. It's, it absolutely blows my mind. I really can't understand it. No matter where I am, New York, Alabama, California, Hawaii, anywhere I go, law enforcement has the same mentality. It's the ego. It's the ego. It's the control. It's the intimidation. It's the lack of education, lack of accountability. All of those factors produce tyranny. I didn't provoke anything. I didn't agitate anyone. I was minding my own business, peacefully exercising my rights in a public space. That's it constitutionally protected activity and if that can provoke a law enforcement officer to want to intimidate me imagine what they're doing to people who exercise their free speech rights and call them tyrants and everything under the book pigs so imagine what they're doing to those people imagine what correctional officer Rupp would do to those people but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below this sheriff definitely needs an attitude adjustment he needs to realize he works for the people can't wait to read your comments on this one. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island audit. Peace.